information about teachers, classes, class types, class codes, student rosters, and more is available on the admin page of Make Music Cloud. Click on the admin tab in the navigation menu on the left side of your screen to open the admin page. If you created a free trial account directly on our website, classes is the only menu word available on the admin page. Use the blue create a class button to begin. Any classes that you create and related information will later be listed on this page. The rest of the information shared in this video will not apply to you. If your account is part of a school platform, the menu on the top navigation bar has a few more options. From left to right, the menu reads platform, administrators, teachers, and classes. The platform page will list possible LMS integration links and indicates the number of teacher, performer, and print subscriptions that have been purchased. Circles and colors provide a visual for the total number of seats available and how many have been used. Connected users will display teachers and students connected to the platform. Click on Administrators to see a list of administrators connected to your platform. Administrators have the ability to invite other administrators and teachers to their platform and can allocate and deallocate full access teacher seats. Click on Teachers to see a list of all teachers associated with your platform. If you are an administrator, your view includes a table with visible information such as first and last name, email address, teacher subscription, print, and whether teachers are also administrators. Buttons along the top of the table give the admin the ability to archive teachers, allocate a teacher subscription, deallocate a teacher subscription, allocate print, and deallocate print. If you are a teacher, your view includes a table with first and last names, email address, and whether the teacher is also an administrator. On the right, just above the list of educators, there is a search bar. Use it to filter the list and find specific names or email addresses. This is especially useful if you are part of a platform with many teachers. Click on Classes to create a class or to see a list of existing classes. In the table below is the following information. Class name, class code, teacher name, class type for your paid, and an option to archive the class. The archive icon is used to archive or retire classes once they are no longer needed. To access individual class details, including student roster, click the class name. The name of your class appears in the upper left side of your screen. If you select the pencil icon, it allows you to edit your class name and teacher display name. Select Back to Class to return to the Classes page. Below your class name is your unique class code displayed and a copy icon that if clicked will copy the code to your computer's memory and allow you to paste it in an email or document if you wish. Additional information to the right includes funding type, how many students in this class, and the number of print add-ons. The orange tab labeled Add Students allows you to add students to your class. The creating classes and enrolling students process is explained in more detail in a separate video. In the table at the bottom of the class details page, teachers have the following information. First name, last name, email, and whether the student has a print subscription. The buttons above the table give the teacher the administrative ability to reset a password, remove a student, allocate a print subscription, or deallocate a print subscription. Above those buttons are three tabs labeled Active, Pending, and Removed. Active will show the list of students currently enrolled in your class. Pending is a list of students who accepted your invitation to join your class but did not complete the verification process. You can admit those students to your class by clicking on Pending and click on the checkbox by their name, then click on the Approve button. 
The last tab will show a list of students who you have removed from your class. To remove a student, click in the box by their name to select that student and then click on the Remove button. It's gonna be a love.